Hey everybody, it's Chris with Killer Arcade Games, and today we're going to be talking E3 2021 announcements. The show just kicked off today, Saturday. I'm recording this right as it's happening, and we've got some news already. None of it is all that shocking, because we've seen a few leaks, but some of you may not have been paying attention to all of them, so I waited to actually do this video until we knew things were a little more concrete. I'm going to dive right into it. As you can see, I've got the page up here. Arcade 1UP E3 announcements. Here they are. Let's click them. All right, so we've got three new machines, and I'm going to use the word new in this case with the air quotes on purpose. I don't know what Arcade 1UP's doing, just re-releasing these same games over and over, but at least they are getting upgrades. I don't want to just crap all over this. I was going to call this video E3 Pete, but this is actually E3 2021. Uh, don't check the date. You didn't accidentally click on last year's video. Anyway, this, these are upgraded cabinets, updated cabinets from the old ones. It's, it's kind of like a refresh from what I gather. Uh, let me just start by saying not one of these interests me in any real way. I can appreciate them though, so let's go into looking at the first one, which will be Ms. Pac-Man and Galaga. This one says you could pre-order it in August, so I'm assuming it comes out just a month or two later. We'll see. Uh, we can already see some pictures here of, of the guy supposedly playing it. I always look at their hands. You can never tell if they're playing it or not. Let's go look down at the specs real quick, see if it shows what we've got here. Uh, this one's actually called the Pac Ms. Pac-Man Galaga Class of 81. This cabinet is pretty good good in my opinion. Once, I'm not a huge fan of these games. This is before my time. I was born in 83. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate the games. I like Ms. Pac-Man. Um, I've seen this cabinet, the full-size version of this cabinet, in people's houses when I'm working. Uh, it seems like a lot of those family places that sell pools and stuff will sell the arcade machines. This is the smaller version, the much more affordable version. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up seeing this more often in people's houses, but uh, you know, it's got, let's see, we've got 12 games in one on this one. I'm not going to go too deep into them, but you can see some of them right here. Galaga 88, Galaxian, Galaxian, Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2, you guys get it. All these games are before my time. Let's look a little bit of the specs here. Custom-shaped cabinet design. Again, it does look a little bit like the real thing, which is cool, but I can't even count how many Pac-Man releases there have been now, so I'm not even going to try to. I don't know where we are, but... If you're a Pac-Man fan, Arcade 1UP is for you, that's for sure. The usual stuff, 80 pound weight, not surprised there. Coinless operation, no big deal. Now this is kind of cool. It does have in-game settings menu, so it looks like they're really starting to include dip switch or difficulty settings inside these games, or just to be able to change a few of the options. I don't know if these older games really even had difficulty settings. They mainly just had, you get more lives when you start, things like that. I could be wrong, though. Um, no big deal here. This is kind of what I expected to see out of them. Let's look at some pictures really quickly here. Hopefully you can see them okay. All right, so this side looks like Ms. Pac-Man, which is cool. This side looks like Galaga. All right, no surprises here. It is what it is. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much more time on this one. Let's move on over to Big Blue Street Fighter. Now I did report on this one uh, when the leaks came out and sure enough, it's real here. It's the Street Fighter II Big Blue Edition the gigantic forehead edition, as I like to call it. It look, just looks like, like when you see the guys who have those huge foreheads, like a five head, that's what this cabinet reminds me of. Not hating on it, I, it's just funny that it, it looks so unique. Which is cool that they took the time to try to replicate it. I am going to look at the games that are on this one. We have 12 in 1 on this one also. This one's got a decent amount of stuff on it, which is kind of nice. It, it For a re-release, I think this one offers more value because it's... Pretty much games I don't think we've seen on other arcade one ups. So we've got Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. We have already had that one. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter or Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. It's starting to get ridiculous here. Dark Stalkers, Night Warriors, Dark Stalkers Revenge, Dark Stalkers 3, Saturday Night Slam Masters. I don't even know what that one is. That's I don't know what that one is. I'll have to look that one up later. Knights of the Round, Eco Fighters, Capcom Sports Club, and Muscle Bomber Duo are all packed into this machine. Um, this is a good deal because it... Oh, I thought... Wow, okay, I read that wrong at first right here. But it is live Wi-Fi enabled with no monthly subscription required. So for a second, I thought this was saying you did have to have a monthly subscription, but it's saying no monthly subscription required, which is great to hear. If they start charging for that, I'm going to be a little unsure about spending that kind of money. But then again, I've never actually played their online service. If it's really, really good, maybe $2 a month, I can't see spending more than that. But hopefully it'll never come to that. You never know. Though. Customizer, light-up marquee, 
uh, doesn't have a weight, which I was kind of interested in because it's a slightly bigger cabinet. So I'm assuming it's somewhere around 85, 90 pounds. I doubt it'll be much more than that. Comes with a deck protector, all the usual stuff. Real feel arcade controls. I'm sure that just means the normal arcade one-up controls. And uh, that's, that's all that I need to look at there. Let's take a look at some of these pictures, though. We've got the big blue with the gigantic marquee. Um, usually when I do see these cabinets in the wild, which is very rare for me, they're not Street Fighter II Championship Edition. They're usually a newer Street Fighter cabinet, but that's fine. Um, some people in the comments when I made my other video hated this. Some people loved it. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this design. I kind of like the slanted down uh, control deck right there. Looks pretty good to me. I don't know. I guess these people are really playing this. Once again, I'm always checking the hands. It looks like they're actually there. They're not just photoshopped in. This is a tall cabinet. This guy may be a little over six feet tall. Um, and I think the cabinet is somewhere around there. I'll have to go back and look at the assembled dimensions and see if it says. From the side, it kind of looks like a, a box cutter in an interesting way, but still, it's pretty cool. It does have this extra split in here. We talked about this on my last video. You've got your riser, then you've got another panel here, and then the cabinet starts, which I think it's done because of the way the boxings, the boxing dimensions has to be, but either way, I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. There's really not much art on the side anyway, so you're hardly, maybe hardly going to see the gap in it there. Uh, big glare on the monitor, weird choice for taking a promotional picture of it, but that's fine. Uh, we've got our live enabled button. I'm assuming that's what that's for. I've never actually seen that. I guess there is a dedicated button. If you could see behind me, all my cabinets are the Gen 1 cabinets. They've just been modded anyway, but I've never played a live enabled cabinet yet. We're going to get to that a little bit later though. All right, let's see if there's actually assembled dimensions here. It does not have them. I'm very interested to see what this is going to be, but moving on to our last cabinet. Another re-release technically, but it's still pretty cool. We've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time arcade machine. I like this one better than the original. I mean, the original art is kind of my favorite, but this one, I like the shape of the design. Um, arcade went up starting to pay more attention to that, which is causing them to just kind of re-release a lot of stuff, but uh, that's fine. This game only comes with two games. It's the original TMNT arcade game, and then this one, which was already on the original cabinet. I don't think there's any reason for you to buy a new one unless you're just dying to have that artwork or you want to have the online play that's going to be included. That's pretty cool. Um, online multiplayer. It's funny their wording isn't the exact same on all these pages. Like it doesn't say free with, with you know, no subscription required, anything like that. It just says online multiplayer. That's fine. Pretty cool though because I think one of the biggest complaints with these cabinets is you get kind of bored with them at that point. Uh, these beat-em-ups, you start at the same spot every time. You work your way through it. Say real life pops up and you got to head out and go do something else, you've lost your spot and you got to go all the way back and keep going through it. So maybe being able to play online with people will help fix that because you can drop into someone's game that's already in progress. You can have other people play with you. I don't think you could talk to each other. Once again, I've never played a live enabled cabinet, so I don't know. Uh, but that's, that's a good thing that they're doing now. I like that. I think it'll help give some more life to these cabinets, but I would feel a little burned if I bought the original and now this thing comes out. It's basically the same thing, just with upgraded features. Plenty of you guys aren't willing to mod your cabinets on your own. You're not really, really wanting to mess with them. You just want to buy them, have them out of the box and ready to go. And I fully understand that. So this is a good option for you. Let's look a little bit more at what it has here. A light up marquee and a light up deck protector. I'll show a picture of that in a second. I'm not a huge fan of light up deck protectors, but if you are, this is a big bonus for you, probably. We've got molded coin doors on this one, which look pretty cool. I've um, never seen it in person, but uh, from what it looks like, it looks okay. It weighs 88 pounds, probably because it's the four-player. And let's see. In-game settings menu, which is great to have. Hey, it plugs into an AC outlet. That's good stuff, right? you got to be able to plug it in. Let's go back up here to the top and take a look at it. I think it's a pretty cool-looking cabinet. Um... I think I still like the original art better. I don't know if I ever really saw one of these in person, the original cabinet, a Turtles in Time. I don't even know if, I'm assuming they made them. I, maybe I have seen them and I just don't remember, but moving down the pictures here, this is a side view. I do like this cabinet shape better. I think it matches the original a lot better and I think it's, it's good looking. It doesn't have the weird marquee wings at the top. Here's a look at the uh, light up deck protector. This is uh, pretty cool. I guess the light, I don't know if the light's under this part, but 
Anyhow, it goes all around here. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments, what is this for? I was looking at these pictures and I can't tell exactly what that is. Maybe it's some kind of switch I've never seen on these Gen 2 or 3 or 4 machines, but here's your live button, here's your volume and power, but what is that? That's an interesting hole. I don't know what that is. Uh, I like that they included the how to play right here on the deck on both sides because, you know, this is such a giant machine you may not be able to see all the way over. But anyway, it's pretty cool. It helps people figure it out. Uh, light up marquee looks good. The print looks a little funny, but maybe that's how the original looked. I don't know. Let's move forward. I think we saw this picture already. Look at this lady. She's having a ball. Kind of funny. I don't know how tall she is, but it looks like she's kind of crouching to play it. Maybe she's just in the zone. Maybe she's not even there. Look at that job. She's got the claw going on on that joystick, so she may not even be there. Looks good in your living room up against your couch. Why not? Can't have enough of that. Here's another weird glare. I'm assuming that was added digitally because they'd never take that picture. Maybe they just want to show you it has a, uh, I guess, plexiglass over the screen. That's kind of a good point if they want to do that. Once again, the mysterious whole button looking thing or switch. I don't know what that is. Please let me know if you guys know in the comments. This is nice. I like this panel here. How to play shows you all that stuff. Again, you got how to play on left, right, and center now. Insert more coins to continue. So that's probably from the original cabinet. I do like when they take the time to replicate that stuff. I assume it's just going to be on free play or, I don't know, maybe you push the button and it adds credits. The start button, that is. Another view of the cabinet here, and I think that's about it. Now on to one more cabinet that Arcade 1UP has not officially talked about on their website for some reason, but here we have The Simpsons. It is official. It was rumored before, and it's, it's here. It's ready to go. This is on IGN's website, so it's not some random site, but for some reason I can't find a lot of information on this cabinet at the moment. We can zoom in and see there is going to be a trackball. Uh, the fake coin doors are there. I don't know if these are going to function as any sort of button. I doubt it. I was thinking maybe you'd push them to get credits, but I don't think they would complicate it like that. Um, one thing to note about this, this is one thing that's, that's really interesting to me, and I have a feeling this is going to be the norm. We talked about pricing in a previous video where we found a leaked list of cabinets that were supposed to be coming out, and basically an inventory for a store online was shown on the internet, and you were able to see it all. They included games like Killer Instinct, Simpsons, I believe, was on there, and $5.99 was the price. And I remember thinking that seems like way too much, but the more I started thinking about it, the price of everything is up right now. So I'm sure the materials on these cabinets are getting more expensive. The circuit boards for the arcade one-ups are probably becoming more expensive. Everything's getting more expensive right now. Shipping's probably even gone up. So I wouldn't doubt that this is going to be $5.99. I wouldn't doubt that Killer Instinct is going to be $5.99. This one is going to have two games on it. This is going to have, obviously, The Simpsons and some other game that we don't know. It's got to be some game that needs a trackball because there's a trackball on the deck. Everyone assumes Simpsons Bowling, but someone came out who reported on this game and said, oh, it turns out that this is not going to be Simpsons Bowling. They have not announced what the game's going to be. I don't know if they're just trying to say that right now because they can't officially announce Simpsons Bowling, but it would make sense that it's Simpsons Bowling. I don't know what other game that was Simpsons related or anything from that time that would use a trackball. So we'll see. I don't know what to expect there, but I think you guys should start preparing for $5.99 price tags. Maybe not on all of these cabinets, like especially the Ms. Pac-Man probably won't be $5.99. I'm not sure about Big Blue. There are a lot of materials that go into making this cabinet, but I would expect the Turtles in Time to probably be $5.99. I would expect uh, Simpsons to be $5.99, and I'm afraid Killer Instinct is going to be $5.99. Now, it's a good time to bring up Killer Instinct. I'm kind of disappointed we haven't seen anything yet, but it's just the first day of E3. I'm hoping to see gameplay. I'm hoping to see the cabinet design. I don't want to see just pictures. I want to see somebody playing this thing uh, live. I don't want it to be pre-recorded. I mean, we can't have everything we want. It may end up being that, but I want to see this thing in action this time. We're going to see what happens. I'm afraid if they don't show it, I'm, I'm going to be a little nervous as things not coming out this year. I have to be perfectly honest, the $5.99 price tag's bothering me a bit for Killer Instinct. I've got one behind me. I was only going to buy it so I could have online play. So I could play with you guys primarily. I, I don't need the cabinet necessarily. And if I'm going to be spending $600, I'd like to just put that aside and wait till I find a good priced, real Killer Instinct arcade cabinet to pick up. But I'm not saying I'm not going to buy it. I don't know yet. We'll see. i got to keep watching it, see how it goes. Um, but $5.99 hurts a bit. Now, it's probably not Arcade 1-Up's fault. It's just the fact that everything's more expensive, like I said earlier. 
That's all we know for right now. You guys can rest assured if they release more information, I'll either do a live stream or another video. Um, I am home this weekend. I'm going to be in and out of the house, so if something pops up, I'll get home and make a video as quick as possible. So please let me know in the comments what you guys think of these three new cabinets announced, technically four with The Simpsons. The Simpsons not officially announced yet, but it's, it's basically all but confirmed at this point. Um, if you guys happen to have any suspicions on what the second game will be in Simpsons, let us know. I still think it's going to be bowling because I couldn't imagine what else it could be, but we'll see. Are you guys buying any of these cabinets? Any of these three at least? And what is the most you're willing to pay for an arcade one up? This question is going to become more relevant soon here. If they keep raising the price, they're getting into a territory where they're, I think they're going to be in a little bit of trouble. $5.99 is pretty much at the absolute maximum I would pay for any of their cabinets. And the only one I'll even consider at that price right now is Killer Instinct. So it's getting to a point where they need to either upgrade the quality and not upgrade the price past $5.99 or they gotta start offering something really compelling and not keep re-releasing the same cabinets. That's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, you found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more. We are almost undoubtedly going to be getting more Arcade 1UP news over the next few days. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the updates. So until the next video, which could be tomorrow, it could be today, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.